everyone, I'm JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you one of my most favorite Halloween decor for my room. And so these are mummy jars and I like to put a battery operated tea light inside of them and it just makes them glow and they light up my room sometimes. And I think they're super cute so this is what they look like. And the supplies you'll need to make them are something that you can wrap the gauze around to make the mummy. And so today I'm using one of these little tea light or candle holders. And this is very small, but you can use any size you want. And also you can use a jar, and I got this one at Target. It was in a two pack. And this is what the jar one turned out like. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make this one. You will also need gauze. And so for this one, I bought it at the dollar store and it is three inches, which is a little bit larger. And I bought this one at Target and it is two inches. And this is the one I'm going to be using today. And for these tea lights, you can buy these at the dollar store and you can use either size. You can use a large tea light or a smaller tea light. You will need scissors if you are going to be cutting your gauze. You will need Google eyes and you can get these at the dollar store too. And last but not least, you can use a hot glue gun to glue it all together. And I forgot to mention that for the jar, you can also use like a vase or a larger candle holder like this one. And you can use anything you want. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, you wanna open your gauze. And so for my gauze, it was two inches. As you can see, it was thick before and then I cut it in half. So I'm going to be using a one inch strip of gauze. And you can use as much as you want of it. I'm using three feet, about three feet. But this is just for mine and you can determine how much you need. So now you wanna just take your jar and my jar has some writing on the back of it. So I'm just gonna make this the back. And you wanna start off by taking your hot glue and you're just gonna make a little dot where you want the back to be. And then you wanna grab your beginning of your gauze, place it down carefully. I'm just gonna tap on it so I don't get burned. And then you can start going around. And once you get to the front, you might wanna put just a little bit of glue. And then continue. So once you have wrapped it to here, we're gonna move up a little. And about right here, we're going to make a dot of glue so that it gets held together. And then you're just gonna go along again. And once you get to the front, you might wanna put a little bit of glue and you wanna make sure you are putting it on the glass. And I'm moving up again, so I'm going to make another dot of glue. And I'm putting it on the glass. And you're just gonna continue this. So now I've reached the top and I finished going all the way around so my whole jar is covered. But now since we are going to be attaching eyes, I just wanna do another row at the top so that I can tuck my eyes under it. So again, you're just gonna go around and then place a dab of glue. And you just want to let that dry and then you're gonna cut it. I'm going to make another dot so that it is completely secured. So now I'm gonna turn it to the front and I can move this up 
and it will give it like a tuck look. So I'm gonna tuck my eyes under that row like this, like I did there. And here's another example. I tuck them under that row. So I'm just gonna take my eyes and remember you wanna be in the front so I'm gonna do it right about here. Just roll it up and then make your two dots where you want your eyes to be. And then you're just gonna place your eyes down. And then you can just roll it over so that it tucks the eyes in like that. And then you can take your tea light, you can turn it on and place it inside. And you can put it in your room as a decoration and you're done. This is what they look like when they're done. And this is what they look like in the dark. And these would make great Halloween decorations. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA, so please tag me in a photo. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, pin it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!